Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. What a day for Starfield fans. I gotta tell you, it's a great time to be playing Starfield. First, we had the trailer drop for the upcoming DLC Shadow Space. And then, Bethesda drops a massive new update with brand new content. I already have a video with the new trailer and an overview of the update. If you're interested, you can go check it out. I'll put the link in the description. But this video is going to be specifically about three items, brand new items that are free for everyone. They are part of the new creation kit from this latest June update. So let's go right in. Let's start with the first one, and this is the one that I'm most excited about, is this new mystery graphics suit. I did not go into New Game Plus, and at this point, I don't think I ever will. So I'm missing out on all those cool Starborn spacesuits. And I gotta tell you, it makes me a little bit sad. I've been rocking the UC Vanguard Quest spacesuit all this time. And surprise, surprise, we now get a brand new Star One suit and it looks fantastic. I really like it. The white color, the two-tone white with silver color or gray looks pretty good. It has a little bit of gold accent, not a lot. It has just a little bit at the back and then the helmet. It looks pretty good. I'm not a big fan of the helmet when you look at it from the back i think the ears there's like a little bit too much ear and then the shoulder pads i could do without the shoulder pads or maybe smaller shoulder pads but it doesn't matter because look at the stats i mean 365 across the board i think this is the highest stat armor in this game i don't have any of the star wars suits so i cannot compare but if anybody has and you've been through, I don't know, NG plus 10, let me know if you have a suit that reaches something like that. I know for sure that I don't have anything close to that. Like the best one I have is still probably less than half of that. And then you have 50 across all the thermal, corrosion, radiation, all of that. This is the most OP spacesuit in the game and I cannot believe it that they just giving it away all free. Anybody can get it. Then you also have some cool passive perks like Chameleon. You can blend in with the environment while sneaking and not moving. Then you also get a 50% reduction in fall damage. I mean that's a great quality of life improvement. And then there's mirror like a 4% chance to reflect attacks. Pretty interesting. Just like the Starborn spacesuit, this one is a one set, so you will not be able to match it with a different boost pack or a different helmet. This is it. And the other thing is that you also cannot upgrade this one. When you take it to the workbench, there's nothing you can do. This is it. But honestly, I don't think it needs any upgrade. I mean, look at those stats. And it looks really good with the new weapon skin, which we're going to talk about that next. So let's go over how you can get it. It's actually really easy. You have a new menu item. It is called Creations. It's this marketplace of mods, if you will. So you're going to find the Starborn Gravis suit. All you got to do, click on it and download it because it is absolutely free. And once you do that, go back into your game. It actually tells you that you can find the suit inside your room at the lodge. So you're going to have to go there if you do not see it at the beginning and that happened to me all you have to do is exit the game go back in go back into your room and now you should see the suitcase i guess you call it pick it up put it on and that is it so absolutely highly recommended this suit makes me so happy that i can pretty much forgive Bethesda for all the shortcomings in the game that's how happy this suit makes me all right, let's move on to number two. You can also grab this since we're at the menu. It's called the Blackout Drumbeat Skin. It is the first weapon skin that we have in the game. Same thing, just download it. It is for the drumbeat weapon, so you can only apply it to that specific weapon. All you have to do 
go to your weapon workbench and when you go down to the last item which is skins you're gonna have this one available it basically turns your weapon all black i think it's a pretty good look not that the original white gold type of look is bad uh, but this is this is more stealthy if you like that look so it's pretty good i'm really hoping that we get more skins uh, this is not my favorite weapon my favorite weapon is still the revenant and i really hope we can get some skins for that one i'm not sure if we will on that weapon when you go to the menu for skin it has a lock on it so something tells me that we will never be able to change it uh, which is kind of sad but but anyway that's okay so this is the weapon i'll show you now this weapon in action in first person as well as that's how it looks when you're reloading i also took it for a little test run i know that it doesn't change the damage or anything but i still took it i wanted to see how it looks just shooting it at enemies things like that this is also how it looks when you are burning when your character is burning that's how it looks yeah so it's cool it's free so definitely get it give your gun a little bit of a different flavor if you like now lastly we have a new item for our pause and you get it the same way as the previous two items at the creation kit menu it shows up under the structures menu it is the observatory so this is brand new it is an observatory so you can put this you know in any of your outposts uh, i actually thought that this thing you could interact with somehow i don't know why i thought that but that's what i thought and no you cannot interact with the actual telescope i thought that maybe we can uh view it and and, and kind of see uh see some planets or, or or things like that but yeah no it, it doesn't work at all so so there you have it but it is a new structure to spice up your outpost the one thing that I find the observatory very useful is that I can just enter through the open space at the top. If I just link hubs to the observatory, I no longer have to use a door. I find that maybe just jumping into the observatory from that space at the top and going to all my hubs this way is probably going to be quicker and easier. So. I mean, there you have it. It's good for something, right? You no longer have to wait for the door to open. Mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is the. Maybe you spend the same amount of time. I don't know. But anyway, so these are all the free items that anyone can get. There are also a lot of paid ones. I'm going to be checking those out as well, especially the luxury homes. I want to definitely get it and uh, see how it is. If you bought the premium edition of Starfield, you do get a thousand creation credits that you can use. If you buy creation credits, it's probably ten dollars for a thousand credits. I assume that's the that's the rate. So yeah, I'll be checking out more things. So make sure to subscribe, help me out, like the video, support my channel, please. And I gotta tell you, if you were on the fence about whether you should buy this game or not, I think this is a great time to get in we have so much new content and everything is looking like it's going into the right direction i'll be honest before today i was pretty worried i thought that they might shift their focus uh resources maybe towards fallout instead because of the tv show success and all that but now i actually feel more confident about this game i think we will get new stuff especially now with the creation kit I mean possibilities are endless and I think it is currently on a discount today. I'm not sure how long that's gonna last but I'm sure it will come back the discount. But anyway, I've been enjoying the game, hopefully you too as well. So thank you all for watching, enjoy the game, have fun and I'll see you all in the next video.